Hey there, let's play the country -ill for December 8th. Yesterday's country -ill answer was Syria. The Syrian Arab Republic is a Middle Eastern country bordered by Turkey, Iraq, Jordan, Israel, and Lebanon, as well as the Mediterranean Sea to the west. It is ostensibly a unitary republic governed by a president and prime minister. Its capital is Damascus. It is an ethnically and culturally diverse country with a very long history of human settlement. Damascus and Aleppo are two of the oldest continuously populated cities in the world. The majority of Syrians are Arab and Muslim, but other ethnic groups include Kurds, Turkmens, Assyrians, Armenians, Circassians, Albanians, and Greeks. In addition to Muslims, religious groups include Christians, Alawites, Druze, and Yazidis. The region is associated with Neolithic settlements and the advent of agriculture and domestication of cattle dating back over 10,000 years. One of the earliest written texts from Syria dates back to approximately 2300 BCE and is written in the language of Ebla, which is a Semitic language similar to Akkadian. After occupation by various ancient civilizations, including the Akkadians, the Amorites, the Babylonians, Phoenicians, and eventually the Macedonians, Romans, and Byzantines, it became part of the Umayyad dynasty in the 7th century CE. It changed hands frequently during the Crusades in the 11th and 12th centuries, and eventually the region came under control of the Ottoman Empire in 1516. It remained part of the Ottoman Empire until the empire's collapse during World War I. After World War I, it was divided between Britain and France, and then became part of the French Mandate. Syria gained independence officially on October 24, 1945, but French troops didn't leave until April of 1946. The post-independence period was marked by coups and instability from 1949 to 1971. In 1971, Hafez al-Assad became president and was succeeded by his son in 2000. His son, Bashar al-Assad, has been president of Syria ever since. Since March of 2011, Syria has been embroiled in a complicated civil war and potentially a proxy war as well, involving Assad's forces, ISIS, and some interference between Russia and Turkey and other international interference as well. It is very complicated and I will not get into much of it here. Suffice to say, the Assad regime is accused of numerous human rights abuses and the war has led to the deaths of over half a million people, the internal displacement of 7.6 million people, and over 5 million refugees. Syria is also in the midst of a major economic crisis. All of this makes the population of Syria difficult to assess, but it is estimated to be around 18 million. Syria's climate varies from the humid Mediterranean coast through semi-arid steppes to the desert. It is part of the so-called cradle of civilization. Oil was discovered there in 1956 and became a major part of Syria's economy. The official language of Syria is Arabic. Other languages spoken in the country include Turkish, Kurdish, Neo-Aramaic, Chechen, Armenian, Circassian, and Greek. English and French are widely spoken as second languages. Syria has a rich cultural history going back millennia. Its cuisine is similar to that of other Mediterranean and Middle Eastern countries. Syria is currently ranked 150th on the Human Development Index and 173rd in nominal GDP per capita. Life expectancy is 73.65 years, and infant mortality is 18 deaths per 1,000 live births. Literacy is just 80.84%. Due to the war and heavy censorship by the government, Syria ranks 171st out of 180 on the Press Freedom Index. So it's a very sad situation over there. Um, so we'll start with Syria and see what country it has in store for us today. All right, we are heading west out of Asia. Could be Europe, could be the Americas. Um, we need fewer than 18 million people, though. That makes me want to go back to the Americas. Although there are plenty of... European countries that would fit the bill as well. But warmer than 18 C. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the Americas. Let's try, um, I don't know. How about the Bahamas? Okay, Americas is right. Wow, fewer people than the Bahamas and Southeast. So it's one of these small island nations. Um, how about, no, not Barbados. Um, one of the saints, St. Kitts and Nevis, southeast of there, and more people, okay. Uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Okay, that's too big. North of there, wow, it's one of the sort of in-between. Um, Granada. North of Granada. Dominica. Hey, Dominica, I got it. I'm starting to get to know the chain of Caribbean islands better. 
but it's hard to know which one. <laughs> All right, well, that wasn't too bad. We will learn more about Dominica tomorrow. In the meantime, feel free to leave a comment here. <clears throat> My voice is getting scratchy. Or on today's Wordle video, which is linked in the description, with a suggestion for a starting word for tomorrow based on the country of Dominica. Not to be confused with the Dominican Republic. That's a whole other place. And I will see you tomorrow for some more Country -ill.